A very somber mood here on Japan Avenue in Stanford. This is such a terrible, tragic situation that folks really just don't quite know how to handle it. A lot of people have been coming down here, neighbors and residents. They've been leaving flowers there, stuffed animals for the children, some way to express their sorrow about the situation. And as you can see behind me, the home was demolished early this morning. It is now just a pile of rubble. Excavators claw through what's left of the home on Japan Avenue in Stanford. The structure wasn't stable and had to come down. You can see from this cell phone video taken by a neighbor, flames were shooting out of the windows early Christmas morning. When firefighters arrived, they found Madonna Badger on the roof, desperately trying to smash in the window of her daughter's bedroom, but she could not get to them, and neither could the firefighters. How do you, how do you go on? The poor, poor, poor person I just feels so sorry for. This is a picture of the five victims happily celebrating last Christmas. Badger's parents, Lomer and Pauline Johnson, moved to Southbury, Connecticut from Kentucky a few years ago to be closer to the girls. Lomer had started a second job in retirement. He was the Santa at Saks Fifth Avenue in their flagship store in downtown Manhattan. But this Christmas ended with unimaginable tragedy. The fire started sometime before 5 o'clock in the morning. It's not clear if there was a working smoke alarm, the home was under renovation. I think that there wasn't an early warning device for them to get out fast. The fire was too, too advanced for them to get out. The only other survivor of the fire, Michael Borsina of Tiberius Construction of New York, was doing the renovation work. But this home was originally built in 1895 and was a balloon frame, a style that's no longer used because it allows flames to spread quickly. Firefighters tried everything they could to get to the five trapped inside, and they too have had a difficult time dealing with all of this. The department has brought in counselors to help. They're going to help them get through this, you know. The guys that need more are going to have it. But I'm going to tell you right now, this is going to stay with these guys for the rest of their career. Because it is a holiday today, the mayor and the chief did not come out to comment about this, but they will be holding a press conference tomorrow afternoon, so we hope to know more about the investigation then. On the scene in Stamford, Annie Rourke, News 8.